In this video, we're going to learn how to record audio into Ableton Live. Let's take a look. We're inside of Ableton here, and we are going to need to check a few things are set up correctly before we can start recording something in. And we're going to need something to record. So in this case, uh, I've got a microphone. And this microphone is plugged into an audio interface that's connected to my computer via USB. You're going to need some kind of similar setup. You may have a microphone that's directly connected to your computer with USB. You may have a guitar that's connected to some kind of DI box or audio interface that's going into your computer. And one of those setups could look a little bit like this. This is a an audio interface and it actually has a DI input on the front of it. And on the back, it has a microphone input. Okay, so you can use something like this with a microphone directly connected to it. And you can go into your Ableton preferences by going control comma, and you can have a look at your input configuration. Okay, so input being something that go, is going into Ableton, in this case, my microphone. So input configuration. And you can see on here that it's showing me that I have two mono inputs, one and two, and then it's got stereo inputs one slash two, okay? So my interface has a total of two inputs and it can either be mono, so I've got two separate inputs, or stereo where it combines both of them. And if you're using, say, a Scarlet interface, which is a very popular interface, generally you'll have the similar kind of setup. So you'll set your um, settings correctly here. You can go to my video on audio preferences in Ableton Live 11 if you would like to uh, get a bit of an idea on what you should have set here. And now we can jump over back into audio, uh, into Ableton. And I'm going to press tab to go to the arrangement view. And I'm going to talk to you first about how to record audio into Ableton. And I'm going to use this microphone. Okay. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to have an audio channel. And in this case, I've got two and I can pick which one I'm going to use. In this case, I'll use audio, the fourth audio channel. Okay. And this section of the, every Ableton Live track is for the inputs and then the outputs, okay? So on this occasion, we're worried about inputs because we are inputting audio into Ableton rather than um, sending Ableton audio out, okay? So we want to go into Ableton. So we are using an external um, input and then down here, we can select which external input that happens to be. And like we talked about already, my interface has two inputs. We can see the stereo, and then we can see the mono of each channel. And you can see that channel two is lighting up and indicating that there's audio coming in. So if I select that, now I can change the other settings so I can actually start hearing that audio. So if I want to hear the audio, I need to start monitoring the input, okay? So I need to start monitoring the incoming signal from this microphone. So I can do that by selecting one of these three settings. So these are the monitor settings. So I can have monitor selected as off. So this means that Ableton isn't necessarily listening or uh, playing through to me the audio that's flowing through the channel right now. If I say, to Ableton to monitor the incoming signal, all, all of a sudden, sudden you're going to hear my voice double because, because now Ableton is listening to, to the incoming, incoming signal because, because we've set, set the monitoring, monitoring to, to in. in. Okay. okay? If, if we, we hit, hit auto, you'll notice that my voice has disappeared. Okay. Auto will only monitor the input when the record arm of the track is selected. So in this case, I, I hit. hit the record, the record arm, arm so, that so that Ableton, Ableton knows, knows that, that this, this incoming, incoming audio, audio signal, signal from, from my voice should feed to that, to that channel. channel. And if, and if we've, we've got, got the input set up correctly, correctly in comes the audio. audio. If, if I, I go ahead, ahead and select, select one, one, now you don't hear it anymore. There's nothing feeding into that first input. It's only going into the, the second, second input. input. Okay. Now, now this, this monitoring, monitoring can, can be handy, handy if, if you, you just want to hear how you sound. Uh, uh, if you, you want to hear the tone, the tone of the guitar, guitar the level of the guitar. guitar. Maybe, maybe you just want to hear it through Ableton, Ableton 
some, some problems, problems that you can, you can encounter, encounter with this, this is if you've got, got latency, latency okay? okay? So if there is a time delay between when you're talking and when the audio actually starts to come through Ableton and there's a bit of latency even when, when I'm, I'm doing, doing it, right? right? My, My voice, voice that, that I'm hearing, hearing here, here is is slightly, slightly behind, behind me actually, actually hearing my, my voice, voice directly. directly. Okay. okay. So, there's so there's some things, things to um, take, take note, note of. of. And, and if, if you, you are, are having latency issues, issues couple of ways to get around it, it you, you may need to change, change your sample rate, rate and reduce, and reduce that, that down, which is going to change your overall latency. And if, and if you, you watch my audio, audio preferences video, video you'll, you'll see more, more information on that. Okay. okay. Another way to do it is just simply to turn off monitor and just listen to yourself directly. Don't listen to your audio through Ableton uh, and just focus on how you sound and hope that the microphone is picking that up as best as possible. Maybe before you start recording, you can kind of just test and you can so decide which, which sort, sort of distance, distance you should be speaking, speaking from, from a microphone, microphone um, and, and how, how hard, hard you should, you should be playing. playing. And, then and then once, once you, know, you know, just turn that off and then start playing it in um, without, being the distract without being distracted due to latency. Okay. So we've got the record button armed. And what we've got here is a loop brace set up so that we're just playing one bar of musical time. And I've actually got the metronome turned on here. And I've also got a feature selected called count in. So if I go ahead and press the record button up here, it's going to start the playback and it's going to give me a count in. And the count in is going to be one bar. So I can get ready. Uh, if I'm going to be playing like the guitar, the piano, I can press play and then I can grab my instrument. And by the time the countdown is finished, I'll be able to start playing in time. Okay. So in this case, I am going to press record and it's counting in and now it's starting to record. Okay. So it's starting to record here. You can see my audio has come, uh, my voice has come in here and it's also making what we call take lanes. Okay. So what a take lane is, is if I'm looping Ableton around and around, every time it loops, it's going to start a new take lane. And this would let me repeat a certain section of the track over and over again until I got the perfect take. And I'm going to give you an example of this. I'm just going to count from one to four. So I'll delete that take lane, delete that take lane, and I'm going to delete this audio. I'm going to give myself a one bar count in I'm going to leave the metronome on so I can hear it. And I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I've counted from one to four, one, two, three, four, five times. Okay. And I've got five take lanes and currently what you can see is this section here and the lighter brown color is what's actually showing up here. And if I selected, um, if I, if I wanted to, um, basically listen to the other takes, I can go ahead and select this take and press the record button here. Oh, sorry. The, um, the speaker button here. And this allows me to audition that take. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. And what I can do is I could right click on the grid and I could change the quantization of the grid to quarter notes. And then I could use the pencil tool and I could say, okay, I like that one. I like that one that I, I like that too. I like that three. And then I like that four. And what it's done is it's taken the audio from there and put it in this first slot. It's taken the audio from here, put it in the second slot, so forth, so on and so forth. But if I just wanted all of that audio, then I could just take the pencil tool and I could just do that. So now it's all that first audio clip that's showing up or all that second one or all that third one up in the master clip up here. Okay. So what I can do as well is I can just grab the start of that and I can pull it all the way out so that I have all of the audio here and then I could just manually chop it up and use it as I wanted. Okay. So that's how I can record some audio into Ableton. And if I just turn that pencil tool off and I select this, I come down here, you'll see the clip that I've got. And you're going to see the information about the clip. You're going to see that I've recorded at 48 kilohertz at 24 bit and it's one channel. Okay. So it's mono and that's handy to know. And that is reflected in my settings here. We've got 48 kilohertz, right? So that's how I could record in 
my voice. Now let's just do that all one more time. I'm going to delete all those tag lines. See you later. I'm going to turn the loop brace off and I'm just going to talk normally. So I'm going to press over here. I'm going to press, I'm going to turn off the metronome. I'm just going to press record. It's going to count me in and then I can just talk as normal. And you can see my audio is just recording in and happy days. Okay. So we know that we need to do a few things in order to get our voice recorded. We need to set up the input. So that's correct. And it's showing up here. We need to arm the channel so that we're ready to record or listen to that channel. And then we can press the record button up here and it will start the timeline. And if we want to count in, we can use these devices. If we want the metronome, we can turn the metronome on. Okay. So let's go to a MIDI instrument and do it with MIDI because we can record MIDI and let's jump over to the session view instead of using the arrangement view. And let's look at how we would do it here. So I've got my MIDI keyboard down here, but I'm pressing the buttons and you don't hear anything. And I've got a piano set up on this first MIDI track. And if I want that piano to know that that MIDI press is supposed to go to that instrument, I have to do something. I have to select the record arm, okay? So just like before we pressed this so that Ableton knew that my voice should go into that channel. Now I have to press this so that these MIDI presses go into the instrument and create sound. Cool. So now what I can do is I could just jam. And if I go capture MIDI, I'm gonna show you this cool little feature, okay? So capture MIDI, even though I didn't press record, it was listening to what I just pressed. And when I hit capture MIDI, it dropped it in there into that clip, okay? So let's try that again. I'll select this clip. And what I'll do is I'll go on my keyboard, one, two, three, four. And then I'll press capture MIDI. There we go. We have captured that audio and we weren't recording. So that's a cool little feature. If you're just jamming around and you're like, oh, Man, I just did something really cool, but I wasn't recording. Boom, try and hit capture recording. Oh, sorry, capture MIDI. And see whether that drops in. So that does not work for audio. It just works for MIDI, okay? So the next thing that we want to do is we just actually want to record in. So what we need to do inside of the session view, we arm the channel, or the track, sorry. And then we can just press record in one of these clip slots. It starts the timeline, and now it's recording in here. And if I go one, two, three, four... You can see it's recording in the MIDI down there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, what happens if I've recorded that MIDI, but maybe I want to record something to go over top of it. Okay. Well, I can actually hit MIDI arrangement overdub. Okay. And I should grab this and click and hold, drag and drop it into the arrangement view, right? Because we need to do this in the arrangement. I can loop that by selecting it and pressing L. And now when I press overdub, this button here allows us to MIDI overdub. So if I'm in the arrangement view and I press record and it counts me in, I'm going to play something over this four bar period of time. And I'm going to put the metronome on just so I can sort of play in time. And I'm not a keyboard player. So, you know, forgive me for being so amateur. Okay, so I've got all of those notes playing in there. And now I'm going to make sure that I've got the overdub on. And then I'm going to press record again. And let's play some different notes with that. And you'll see what happens. Okay, so it's added those notes. What happens if I don't have overdub on? It erased them, okay? So overdub allows you to record something and then record more over top without erasing what was originally there, okay? So that is MIDI record overdub and that's for when you're on the arrangement view like so, okay? So we have covered how to record MIDI into Ableton and we've covered how to record audio into Ableton. I hope that was really helpful for you guys and I'll see you in another video.